Last week, we watched All for Love, the very first part. We heard the story of Angela, a love story. Will the father's interference bring an end to that beautiful relationship that Angela is in? The next morning at around 5 a.m., I went to my mother's room to have a chat with her. I woke her gently from sleep and asked if I could talk to her. She noticed that I've been crying. I didn't sleep throughout the night. I knelt before her and begged her to allow my relationship with Chris to continue. And as usual, she told me that Chris would take advantage of me. I explained to her that he was different from all other guys and that I was just planning to introduce him to them. She then said that she, we will talk about it later. I called Chris line again that morning and he picked it. I tried explaining what happened. You know, when um, parents don't want kids to do things, they block them off. Yeah. And sometimes the parents hurt inside. How do you think that we can breach this, uh, breach the gap or open the line of communication? Because we see Angela, she's not talking to her parents again about Chris, but then she's still seeing Chris behind. What do we do as parents? In counseling, we try to make parents understand that's the difference between control. Like I said earlier on in our other edition, if you joined us, that you could have a wonderful dream and have this dream come true. Or if fate plays a number on you, like it has played on Funke, you have your dream crashed before you like a pack of cards. It was like everybody knew something that I didn't know. Apparently, at the time I commenced my leave, the management carried out, you know, a medical fitness test. Okay. It was it was that test that was that was that was carried out on me that confirmed that I was that, that I was HIV positive. I, I was very shocked to hear that. Are you saying you were sick for being and HIV positive? Well, the management did not like own up to the fact that they, they, they sacked me because I was HIV positive. Ariat Lawa, who called from John, said that Angela's parents should be blamed for being too rigid with their daughter. But she never forgot to blame Angela for taking things too far. Actually, they know what they have seen before telling you not to go with that guy. Well, for you, you know the kind of person he is. I think it's a bad idea. I don't like living with my girlfriend before getting married because as I am, I'm a good Christian. I live in a pastor now, walks up to my room and discover I'm living with a girl. So I think we love going. I should still get married to the person. Come with me. Wow, insightful comments. You will agree with me. Now let me get a little bit philosophical here. Michael Novak said that um, the wise learn from mistakes and the foolish many repeat mistakes. Here on A to Z, we hope and we pray for you that when you get successful, you face the right direction and you make the right turns at the right time. My name is Uriu Kohakalu. I'll sure be here again next week. Join me then. Bye-bye. I'm going to share the truth A to Z.